Alright guys, hopefully you guys subscribe to my channel. On this video let me show you the Dell Inspiron 5570 Core i7 processor. The thing that you guys have to do to disassemble this computer will be first thing, take out the DVD unit drive. We have to remove the screw that is here and then slide it over. It's very soft. We take it out. Once we get done that, we have to remove all the screws that goes around this computer. These three screws get stuck but that's it's not a problem, just leave it there. Don't forget to remove the two screws that are below the actual DVD unit. One that's done, you have to lift it over the computer and it starts sliding over with the cart. You're able to lift the computer, just lift it. Just go kind of slow, don't break anything please and you are able to slide over the actual cord once you remove the cover and here you could see all the components i'm gonna leave you like a quick description of every single components on from here we have the flash storage we have the battery we have the ssd this is the m2 flash storage we have the memory ram we have the wi-fi card we have the actual heat sink under the below part is the processor make sure that before proceeding we all touching all the computer make sure you slide over the connector from the battery and there is no power going to the computer to be able to swap the hard drive the thing that you have to do would be to take out the screws that are holding the hard drive would be two and two right here so take out the screws so in here we have the hard drive we slide over the connector and we have a ssd the, this computer actually come with the regular uh, hard drive so the thing that you have to do to upgrade it to ssd would be to remove the four screws that are holding the hard drive make sure the connector goes on the right position with the bracket and then just put it back in with the connector for the memory RAM upgrade, we have one slot here. The one slot is holding 16 gigabytes of RAM. This computer most of the time comes with one slot of eight. You're able to put eight and eight, 16 and 16, of a total of 32, of a total of eight or 16. So this is the memory RAM, is a DDR4. To be able to remove the heat sink, we have to remove the four screws that are holding the unit. So once we take out all the screws right here, most likely we remove them. We leave the heat sink, we put it aside, and in here we have the chipset, the CPU and the video chipset. If you guys want to replace it, make sure that there's a professional doing it. If no, you could cause uh, issues on the motherboard. Now it's time to remove the battery. You want to remove the battery, we have to take out the four screws that are holding the unit. So once the, the screws has been removed, we leave the battery. And here we have access to the trackpad. We have the actual flex going to. This is the keyboard flex. And this is the M2. Let me show you the actual M2 storage here. To take out the M2 storage, we have to remove the two screws that are holding the bracket. Let's remove the actual speaker connector. And then we take out the actual speaker. It's rerouted to these two nodes. So make sure you don't break the cable and just follow it. And then we slide over the M2, and right there it is. We remove the screw, and we lift over the. There is the solid state drive. And here we have the fan. There are three screws holding it. Just in case you need to replace it, you remove the three screws that are holding. You are able to move this flex out of the way. This is the flex of the screen. and then take out the connector and this is your fan if you want to leave the motherboard the thing that you guys have to do is remove the three screws that are holding here take out all the box all the possible flex this one this one this one this one this one this one right here this one from the flex take out the screws that are holding the motherboard and then just lift it over should be easy simple step so now it's time to put back the actual fan 
they find the same way we put it back right here and we make sure that all the flex go into the right position we make sure that we put the connector back and that we put the three screws that are holding the fan back in place now we should be able to put the SSD flash storage back in position we push it in we pull it down and we screw it in make sure the bracket goes under this plastic part and then put the screw on top of it we route the, the the speaker and we put the connector back in After that we put the heat sink back in and we screw in the four screws. We could put the hard drive back in. We could connect the put the connector. In this case this is a SSD solid state drive. We have to make sure to put the four screws that are holding the actual SSD. After that we could put the battery on place. Make sure that we put the memory RAM back on place. And finally, we are able to put the battery connector back. The only thing that we have to do is just put it on the center of the connector and then sl slide it over. Once all is on place, we could put the cover back in. We push it down. And to make it easier for you, you could open it be careful with the screen, just open it and just start pushing it. And after that, the thing that you guys have to do is put all the screws back in. And this one first before putting the DVD unit. Once you put the screw back in, you are able to slide in the DVD unit and put all the screws back in place. Just to show you guys, this is the Kodai 7 8th generation Inspiron 15. 5000 series, the specific model 5570 and this one has a fingerprint or touch ID, finger touch ID, that's the, the word that it called.